Hello, hello. Welcome to Leap Taken. This is Mika here at Leap Taken. I talk about all things witchy, craft related, law of attraction, manifesting, es- manifesting, esoteric, and everything else in between. And today I, I'm going to do a planning video, but I wanted to just talk a little bit about sort of where I plan on taking a lot of my planning tools. Um, this is my brand new iPad that I just got in sky blue and I got a nice, nice matching case from Amazon to go with it. It's a keyboard underneath. I refused to pay what Apple was going to charge for that smart keyboard pad. Like, no, no, ma'am. That was entirely too expensive. I said, you guys are crazy. Um, well, I didn't say that. I just didn't buy it. But anyway, <laughs> I um, purchased this. I was looking for something to sort of get me started and I saw this daily ritual journal. And I was like, yeah, I got to get this. So um, I went ahead and just downloaded it from Etsy. It was pretty simple to get it here. I uh, also downloaded Good Notes and I picked this up. So why am I sharing this with you? Well, this is a ritual um, journal, daily journal and ritual space. I adore that and I really do appreciate that. So basically it's what I said it is, you know, and um I, I love this. I love this book. Uh, these are just the blank pages that I'm showing you right now uh, in the book. That's pretty much it. But um, yeah, it, you know, I've already started writing in it in a different copy, but I kind of just wanted to show you it's a bunch of pages that look like this. Um, this has been uh, this is the one where I wrote and I just took my pencil and I was just playing around uh, to see what it would look like, you know, if I wrote in here you know, like this. So there you go. Um, but yeah, so this is, this is the book, um, that I got. And I really think this is actually going to be super helpful, helpful to me using an iPad, um, to write some of this stuff down, even though I, I like, like I said, paper and pencil. I mean, technically it's just a different version of that. Um, So I already started writing like some of my thoughts I just wanted to do. I played around with it like there's a sticker. So I took like a screenshot of the crystal and it's like a grounding color. I thought I put a picture of myself on here and I just put I got my iPad air today. Um, Today's mindfulness rituals and or mantra. I have more than enough. And I just wrote a little bit of detail here because I have been um so freaked out about just spending the money to buy the dang on iPad for months. I've been like really wanting it. First, I didn't know if I wanted it. I was trying to decide. Then I realized I do. And instead of just purchasing it, I did just like labored over it. And then I just, by the way, in the end, I just sent my daughter to the store with my car. and was like, could you go buy the one that I want, please? And she was like, okay. And it was done. And you know, the world didn't end. And I don't feel like I made a foolish financial decision, um, decision. Um, you know, I like, I go through that. Like I had the money, the money was always there. So it's weird that I was freaking out like that, but welcome to, you know, the scarcity mindset that some of us continuously have to fight against. And that's really what I wanted to kind of point out about. This is a literal manifestation of releasing that energy and just saying, okay, you're allowed to have this. You're allowed to experience this. It's, you know, it's, it's not wasteful. Um, so what if you already have a different tablet? Like I was telling myself all this sort of stuff and I'm just showing you like all the different blank pages it comes with, um, which I think is really cool. But anyway, yeah, um, this was just like something that like I made so hard for myself and it didn't have to be, it really didn't have to be this difficult to make this purchase, but I, for some reason was just freaked out about it. They have this section in the back here. I just wrote brain dump real sloppily across. But uh, yeah, it's like just a page, a notebook page. I don't, yeah, there's more blank pages for you to just jot down freehand, put imagery or whatever you want to do. But the whole point of the journal is for you to, um, right now they're labeled by the months, which obviously is October. So I don't know, I'll probably come back in and fix all that. But I wanted to play with it first before I showed you guys. (laughs) So here we are. Uh, But anyway, yeah, um, the point is, I'm just grateful that I was finally able to get it. Like, and not because it was about money, because it was about me just opening my mind up to the possibility that 
you deserve to have the things that you want. Yes, I know I talk about that all the time. It's another thing sometimes, I'll be honest, to really live it and really like there are moments I think I got it and I don't need to be reminded of that. And then there's moments like this when, you know, I just wanted a freaking iPad. It was like the tax like eight something and the grand. I mean, it's not like I was trying to buy a new MacBook, which would be nice. But um, this is really what I wanted. I really didn't want a laptop. This fits my needs better for when I want to do maybe some editing or get into digital planning, which is where I'm going next. I'm going to be getting more into digital planning. Um, this is sort of my foray using this journal. Um, and I'll see how I like this, but ultimately I'm going to start using this platform for, you know, um, my planning. I'll still keep my paper planners cause I obsess, but like decorating stickers. So, um, just sort of a sneak peek and let, let you guys know I'm coming for that. Um, you know, I like to use different tools and see what works for me. So I'm going to be doing that as well. So anyway, this is my sweet new sky blue colored <laughs> iPad Air, which I adore. I love it. Does everything I believe it needs to do for me. I'm very excited about this. And yeah, that that's it. So I just wanted you guys to see that. And um, just to let you know that, hey, guess what? If you're kind of struggling with that yourself, don't, you know, the whole idea of like not being able to... Um, you know, maybe pull the trigger on something because you got this idea that it's, you know, oh, I better not, you know, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> I'm very grateful. By the way, this is my artwork and I took a, a screenshot of it from a picture that I took. Yeah, this is my artwork. I'm so proud. So this just makes me happy. Anyway, on to the planning. Okay, let's get in with the planning. So I'm using two different sticker books for the Big Happy Planner. I have, um, cause of course we're going all out. I have my Halloween, uh, related, uh, decoration stickers. <laughs> so I'm going to do like a two tone theme and I'll show you, we'll just go ahead and just get into it. So you'll know what I'm talking about. So here's the washi that I plan on using. Um, so we're going to do like a two sided thing. So this side is more of the pastel and this side is more of the typical orange, uh, in black, uh, with the black cat, which I think are cute. This is scrap paper that I had, uh, I, uh, cut out and then we're going to use the sticker books for the other, you know, sections, but yeah, let's get into it. Let's, let's jump right on in, shall we? Um, so I'm just going to put this over to the side for now. So I'm going to lay these down, uh, because well, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> so my theme, obviously, as it has been all month long for <laughs> is Halloween related in some capacity or the other, or just taking from uh, typical, you know, Halloween type looks and kind of deriving my own meanings from it. And um, the transition here is basically from, okay, it's a matter of wanting to get in touch with uh, the other side. It's um, opening, preparing for that you know, in my very, my very unique way with the pastel pinks. <laughs> it's a way of, no, seriously though, it's like, for me, repre just representing that, yeah, I'm trying to make these connections. Um, uh, yeah, let me put this here. I like the way it looks that way. Yeah, I'm going with the thing, you'll see. But anyway, yeah, it's like that representation. By the way, when I flip this, this will go like this. So like, this will be this this side and then, you know, this one will favor more of that side. So that's kind of where I'm going with it. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going with this representation of sort of like the buildup of energy. And then in this part of the week, for me, it's all about sort of just partying at that point and just like really celebrating sometimes as witches. Um, you might get a little too serious about some of these holidays. You know, we don't realize we're doing it. But like you're, you know, you kind of suck the fun out of it. <laughs> uh, you can kind of ritualize yourself or spell work yourself right out of just having fun, just enjoying, you know, for the sake of enjoying the holiday. Don't forget, that's a thing. You're allowed to do that, by the way. Um, and in my case, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing as we lead up to 
uh, the 31st, you know, I'll, this is like party time for me. And I really kind of want to get into that and just, you know, my week sort of the presentation of this week sort of reflects that. So boom, that's pretty much the basic, you know, layout that I'm going with here. So now let's get to the other stickers. So these are not necessarily Halloween related, but I kind of was digging some of the like color schemes. So I thought it would go cute in here with um, my page, this page, part of the page. If I can get to where I was at, where I saw the colors I like. I kind of like these colors. They're not really as pink though, like this one is. So that was my only caveat and they, I don't really see like overtly pink like I want. So I guess I'll just have to get the pinkest of the pink. It's more like a peach color than pink, but that's okay, I can live. <laughs> um, Cause I actually will have, you know, functionality with these stickers that I'm putting in here. So that's what that's about. Um, ugh, space. <laughs> I'm trying to show you and not knock everything over all at the same time but it's all right i got it <laughs> uh, so yep this is like the build up for me that's all this is representing just the, the overall build up of the week um oh i like that be in love with yourself and i like that it has the black in it and a little bit of that like blush color because that'll do very well overall Yeah, my my pay, my uh, weeks have meaning <laughs> for the most part. Um, sometimes it's just cute and you just do it because it's cute. Other times it really does have meaning, like I, the way I position them and all that sort of stuff. Like it me it means something to me if you know, like or it's supposed to give me inspiration, something along those lines. So anyway, that's just me. So I want to grab when it, it's got a little bit of the black in it and it'll kind of play up a little bit with going into the next week. So that's cute. Uh, like that. Yeah, want that to come down. All right, so that, that'll, that'll do. Oh, wait, no, I wanted to put something there too. But anyway, yeah. Don't get too caught up if you can help it in the seriousness of Salwin. Have fun. Still, you know, take the kids trick or treating and give in to all the fun vibes and all the cool, you know, the costumes, dress up, dare if you dare. Uh, join on my virtual party, my Mischief Knife party on October 30th. That's a Saturday, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please come in, enjoy, have a little fun, kick back. Um, we'll be, um, having fun, just talking, um, showing off our wares. We're dressing. You can come dress as mischievously as you would like and whatever that means to you, that's what it's going to be. So you can interpret that how you will. Um, but yeah, come get into it with us. We're going to have fun, um, this week. I mean, you can come with a, whatever beverage you want. But I think I'm going to introduce like a um, signature cocktail that we can all kind of drink <laughs> if you so desire uh, to partake in, in the libations. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm, I'm just building it um, some party games and just some fun on Mischief Night. If you have no idea what I'm talking about as far as Mischief Night, where I grew up, which I'm realizing everyone didn't have that. So the night before Halloween was called Mischief Night. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any idea what the heck I'm talking about, but that was like a serious thing. When I mean serious, it was serious because those kids really got into it. Those were great times. We would have so much fun. Um, basically you could become a little mini, uh, a little, uh, mini vandal running around your neighborhood, destroying property. Um, you get egg houses, egg cars. Um, it was mischief. You know, we were mischievous little kids running around just creating havoc. Those were the days. Those were fun times. <laughs> yes, that's the times I'm talking about. 
Um, it's funny when I hear some people talk about like their childhood and I'm like, that sounds like a misdemeanor. You were good. <laughs> but, you know, those were the days. Those were fun. That's what we're, you know, fondly looking back on as we're young. Isn't that crazy? No, I didn't cause any damage. I'm exaggerating. But it was the promise that like you could do anything that night, you know, and maybe even get away with it. Um, you know, to just do stuff like um, people, t somebody can get their house TP'd or something like that. It was harmless for the most part. I never got involved in anything that would, you know, get me locked up. OK, let me just say that. <laughs> never have I ever. Um, but it was always something that stood out in my mind, you know, as I got older, like how much fun that was. And I don't want to give, <coughs> excuse me, give that up. I don't want to give that up. It was good times. <laughs> so I really like kind of the black and white because the orange is so dominant. So I'm kind of going to roll with that. I think I'll put this here. Mm, we'll see. I don't have any. Yeah, I'll put it here. Yeah, I'm talking this out <laughs> in my head as I do. I like that. Yay, yay, yay. Because it's like to me the anticipation coming up for Halloween. <laughs> That's all. That's all it represents. That's what I'm doing. Um, here, I definitely want to get some of these quotes on here because I think that they just make sense. Uh, as I approach, she sees possibility everywhere. Yes, I do. Um, oh, yeah, this is what I wanted. But I am... I mean, it's hard to tell I'm excited about anything because I'm like, seriously, in a lot of pain all day. Ugh, these cramps. I, hopefully you saw the post that I did on a community post here on YouTube. And I was talking about this. I was asking for like, you know, some suggestions. You can even tell me here on this, uh, under this video here, I don't mind, um, about just natural herbal remedies for dealing with, you know, cramps and things like that. Um, I, I should probably just admit, uh, not admit, but tell you that I've also been doing some things. I recently made a purchase, um, for a product that I think may be super helpful to me. Um, I don't know that yet, so I don't want to like really start talking about it until I get it in my system <laughs> and, you know, I'm using it for a period of time and then I'm like, oh, this works. Then I'll be more than happy to share. But until then, I'm not going to, um, put that energy out there yet. Because I, I don't know, but um, I plan on using it as soon as I get it. <laughs> and I'll let you know if it's because if it's great, if it even works a little bit, because even though like I suffer a lot, like it's very painful and it gets in the way of me living my life type of pain. You might not have that for you. Yours might be um you know, it's dreadful, but at the same time, maybe you don't need as much intervention like with natural herbal remedies as much as I do. Like you might have a higher threshold for pain. Who's to say? I don't know. My point is, so if it helps me a little bit, it might help somebody else a lot. That's my rationale. So, yeah, I will be happy to share. Um, do more of what makes you happy. Yeah, I'm kick putting all this in in the midst of Halloween because this time of year has really great significance for me. It's a time for me to plan going into a new year, um, you know, using the will of the year. That is th that type of thinking, the witch's new year, which is the 31st. Um, it is. It's a really good time. It's a really good time for me. That's the best way I could say it, because basically possibilities are endless. I, like I feel like. Anything and everything is possible at this time of year. And I love that. I love feeling like that. You know what I mean? Like everything is on the table. Nothing's off the table. If I could think it, I can have it. I could do it. That type of mindset. Do I have, is this, oh, I use it all. I thought it was another sticker here. Oh, uh, I think, I think this is all I want to do for that. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. So now here comes some other uh, cutesy fun stickers that I'm going to add on from my other stash of Halloween um, stickers and things like that. So let me grab that out and holiday stickers. 
So this is sort of what I have left. I don't think these are gonna fit, so I'm just not gonna use these. These were cute, maybe um, for something else, but not this. I had planned on it, but I don't know. So I'm just going through my stash that I had from like last Halloween and probably even the Halloween before then. And I'm just gonna put in, you know, some embellishments here and there um, that I think would look cute. Like some of this stuff, I love this snake. We're just gonna make this a little more spookier if we can, just a tad. And it's got a little bit of the shiny reflective gold kind of like this, so it'll go together. Um, just little pieces, nothing big. Let me see. I think I'll add this moon, cause that's cute. Like that. Uh, some of these, um, yeah, shiny, shinier type things. I think these are cute. Some of the stars. See how this is coming together? It's kind of cute, right? And it's it's like um, just different elements that I'm putting to, oops, different elements and uh, like a transition uh, as well. Because I, you know, kind of want to tap into that. Because that's what I feel like this time is, is a transition. Like, how do you, I don't know. I don't know anybody who who's not thinking about this time sort of like a, a transformative time going into um, just an, another season um, soon. Um, and with uh, that, again, comes, yes, challenges possibly, but also comes opportunity and um, all types of things that you don't see coming yet. And that's kind of cool, right? You don't even know. Your whole life could be about to change. <laughs> Everything in your life could be totally different or just better or whatever, you know? Yes, it's easy to think or worse, I get it, but I prefer not to think like that. <laughs> I don't wanna leave room for that. Um, instead, I just keep thinking, hey, there's just so many possibilities on the horizon. You know, I really wanna tap into that, <clears throat> excuse me, energy, and I really just wanna think about that. So let me look to see if there's any cool holidays I need to mark down, besides Halloween, of course. <laughs> Um, for the week here, let's see, we got, did y'all know that October 3rd was National Boyfriend Day? I didn't even notice that. Um, it was World Small Day on October 1st. Who would have thunk it? Uh, it's not much for this week outside of Candy Corn Day, which is a no. Um, yeah, I don't really... Am I skipping some? Maybe I was using some of them already. I don't know, but I don't even see. This is like November. Yeah, October 29th is Internet Day. All right, so let me look at my other book. Yes, I have two books with just holiday stickers in it. The things that I buy, guys, you have no, <laughs> you just don't know. All right, um, or maybe you do, you watch this channel, you might be just as crazy as me with this stuff. So there's not, there wasn't much in October. Look at this. So I used what was, so that's it. Okay, it is what it is. I was looking to see if there was anything cool I could add additionally here on the actual week, but I guess not, I guess not. So I'm done with this side. I like the, the way this side came out over here. And I'd even get into this washi down here. Isn't this so cute? <laughs> and it kind of goes with the spirits and all that sort of stuff and, you know, being protected. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about why I chose some of these stickers. Like, I love the spider web, the intricacy of it. And to me, that's just letting that energy of just, you know, you, you start and you don't know it's going to branch out into something like a web like that. But um, that's your intent, and then you see it through, and it does. That's awesome. Just those stars for a little bit of shine. <laughs> um, and we have here this uh, spider here again, saying, you know, it ties in with that energy. Just, you know, continue to just strive toward my goals. Um, and I love the energy of the snake because uh, I uh, liken this to Hecate and just her sort of guiding me starting on Monday, just guiding me through this week. Um, the whole, uh, evil eye thing and just protection of like over my week no uh still riding off of the moon energy um 
from the last full moon, although I realize it's not a full moon, but I don't want it to be because it might look like I'm saying it's a full moon anyway. But I just um, picking up on that lunar energy again and all the spell work that I did tied into that. That is awesome for this this side of the week. And then I'll have uh, my card here. I can write notes and anything else I need to jot down. Boom. Then we get into the spooky side. <laughs> let's let's look at look for stickers here that I have that are a little more spooky. Let me see if I have another one of these. I think this is the only one. Yeah. I thought I had another one of these type things, but that's OK. I'm sure Michael's will have more. Um, I thought I did. That's so weird because I didn't pick up another one because I thought I did have an extra one, but it's okay. And this is more purple. Um, and yeah, they had some green. Let me see. Let me see. Bone powder. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, yeah, I think I like that one. It's just kind of bringing this over a little representation. I'm just going to put that here in the middle. Okay. Yeah, I'm going a little bit all out with all the colors and all that. that. You know, it's that time of year. But I think I like these little skeleton hands <laughs> that kind of just come in and give this a little something. And then I'll put the washi down in just a second. I don't feel like I have to do as much on this side because that orange is just so, you know, powerful. It just pops out so much. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like it's saying yay. Um, and since I was talking about transformative, I'm going to just put this little butterfly right here. Uh, and then coming over with a spider, just bringing in that same energy sort of just to keep going. It's green. Yes, but that's okay. We can handle a little extra color. <laughs> uh, choo choo. I really love decorating these books like this. This is so fun. <laughs> I don't again, I don't understand how people don't find this relaxing and fun, even though I'm taking that road to to digital planning for sure. Like this is still my jam that I still love doing this. I still love looking for stickers and uh, physically setting it up and flipping through the pages like this is super exciting. still. so I, I don't see me giving up both. Uh, or giving not both giving this up and just you know not doing both i'll still do both um paper planning and um digital planning for sure okay i think uh it's just more of those stars on this page i could just kind of put some of these a little bit more around Ooh, i didn't really mean to go there but that's where it wanted to be so that's where it's going to be <laughs> Yeah, let me just pop these out, create like a little cluster right there. And um, this, I don't know, this gets me. <laughs> I kind of like this too. So maybe I'll just put this like right here. I'm just come in with a little bit more of the stars, just a few across the page. Okay, now let me add in my washi so I'm using these they like are like little tickets and it says uh, dia mortis um yeah hopefully you can see I got this from Michaels last year is this not adorable so I'm gonna put this down here because it had a little bit of the orange in it so I thought okay yeah this could go here well they both do both of the washi but I kind of like this so we're gonna go here and bring in all that color, which, by the way, when I think of all that color, I go back. I just think about life. You know, I think about um, how exciting this is at this time of year. If you, you know, for the living, that is um, actually. And for those who have passed on, I am having trouble. I didn't, and I don't have my scissors near me, so I'm trying to <laughs> cut this in a way. There we go. <laughs> that makes sense. It was a little tough to cut. I thought my nail could handle it. But anyway, yeah, this is a time that, you know, celebrate life. I keep saying that, man. Celebrate life. Listen, you can commune, but please know that you are in a very privileged, regardless 
of your lifestyle. Um, when I say that, I'm not talking about anything sexual orientation. I meant the type of life that you live, how you live your life. That's not what this is about. Because guess what? You, If you're not living as well as you think you should be right now, there's always opportunity to change it. We're at that time now. This is you know, you're a reminder. Uh, it's, it's, you can change your um, circumstances is basically what I'm saying. All right. So we have this black pumpkin of pastel variety, but I'm going to kind of mix it up because it's got a little bit of pastel. It looks like that. And it'll be kind of the tie in to this page. If I can get to the, oh, there we go. Or do we? No, we don't. Where is uh, this washi sometimes gets on my nerves. Maybe I should like fold it when I'm done, but I never remember to do that. Why would I remember to do that? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is just a literal physical representation for me to say, hey, girl, live. Do your thing. Live your life. Be excited about the, this, this time of year. Get excited. You know? Look at this. Come on. It's trying to get a clean rip. <laughs> um, so that's all. This is this is what this week represents to me. This side of the week anyway. This is what it's all about. And I like to kind of stagger my washi tape sometimes. If you notice that, I don't like have it just going straight across. That's cute, but it just adds a little bit of dimension to the page. I don't know, in my head it does. <laughs> so uh, to kind of do it like this and, you know, not be too matchy matchy across the board. Like that. No, nope, I don't like that all the way. See, I don't like it all the way across sometimes. I just like the way it stops right there. I think that's cute. So I believe I've added enough sticker and washi to satisfy myself. I didn't even show you when I was adding that. I just realized it anyway. But this is it. This is my. Um, oh, no, it's not. I forgot. Now I do. I thought I had a sticker for Halloween. Like I was saving to the actual word Halloween, but that's OK. I'm going to write it myself because why not? I can write <laughs> Halloween. Um, and then I'm just going to put up here. Salwin. Oh, did I just? Yeah, Lord. Uh, y'all ignore that. <laughs> Salwin. <laughs> I wrote up in Salwin. I wrote a W instead of an M. I have white out. I could always fix it if I so choose, but I don't mind. It's okay. Um, and then here I'm just saying this is mischief night. Please consider coming. The link for the Discord channel is also in the description, by the way. Um, you know, so please consider it. Let me flip my little page here. So again, we have this side of the week where it's all about, hey, let's just get, you know, keep that energy and uh, that positivity. And, you know, we're coming in here and all get all your elements that will carry you through the rest of the week. And then here it's all about, hey, I've done the prep, all that work to come into this week and let's get into it. Let's party. Let's have fun. Let's do all the fun things. Let's partake in the season, um, the holiday. So that's what this sign represents where it definitely gets a lot more colorful once you come over here. But I love this. I love the way this came out. Um, my little two tone approach. It's so cute to me. I love it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys are getting into. Let me know if you're coming to the Mischief Night virtual party on October 30th. I really love uh, the more the merrier. If you can come and just kind of hang out and, you know, that could turn into whatever we want. It could be like a Q&A. We could be talking about ghost stories, which I plan to introduce uh, as a topic, um, whatever. You know, we can get as cheesy or as spooky as we like. All right. So thanks again for watching. I'm Mika. This is Leap Taken. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And as always, thanks again for watching. Bye bye.